get a little anxious or queasy at the sight of bugs, be warned, millions of them, cicadas, are set to swarm central Indiana in just a matter of a few weeks. Brew 10, as this cycle of cicadas is called, has been hibernating for 17 years. And once they finally emerge, you will not be able to miss the sight as well as the sound of them. Joining me live from Lafayette this morning with more on this incredible phenomenon is Elizabeth Barnes, an entomology educator at Purdue University. Elizabeth, good morning to you. Good morning. So when do you think Brood X will, Brood 10 that is, will start coming out of the ground? So we're expecting them to start coming out around the beginning of May, although it can be a little earlier or a little later, depending on the weather. And they'll start coming out at the bottom of the state and kind of move up the state. They're really temperature dependent. Are these cicadas dangerous? Not at all. So they don't bite, they don't sting, nothing like that. They might startle you if they fly in your direction, but they're really not dangerous. Are they going to damage the crops, the trees? No, so most trees will be fine. They only feed and lay eggs on deciduous trees. Okay. And so those are the ones that lose their leaves in the fall. Um, and even then, it's only really small trees and some fruit trees you have to worry about. And for that, on our Purdue Cicada website, we have some recommendations for some ways that you can protect your trees. And for those people who do not own a computer, how do you protect young trees, those type of trees? Just something simple. Sure, so the best way to do it is actually get some insect netting and um, put it over the trees, so bag them, tie it can at you the use, bottom. Can you use cheesecloth? <laughs> I'm not sure if I've seen any studies with cheesecloth. It might work, but my fear is that the um, cicadas would be able to get their ovipositors through the cheesecloth. Okay, and that's what we're trying to we checked the cheesecloth off the list this morning. Well, the sound of all these cicadas may be unnerving for, to some people. Why are they so noisy? So basically, they're so loud because the male cicadas are singing their heads off trying to attract the attention of the females. It's essentially a cicada serenade. <laughs> okay. All right. Perhaps the most important question for a lot of people, how long will this invasion last? So they are usually only out for about a month to a month and a half. Again, it's weather dependent. Um, so if you don't like bugs, don't worry, it'll be over pretty soon and you won't have to worry for another 17 years. And if you do like bugs, make sure you get out there and see them. Well, raccoons and squirrels are going to have a feast. What about people? Can we actually eat these things? Yes, so they're actually pretty tasty and there are a lot of great recipe books out there. Um, you can bake them, you can fry them. Uh, I've heard of people putting them in ice cream. All have, sorts you, of have you eaten one before? I haven't tried them yet. I've tried other insects though. Okay, um, but not the cicadas. I do, want, I do want to warn people about two quick things. So one, if you're allergic to shellfish, oh. you don't want cicadas. You might have an allergic reaction. Two, gotcha. make sure you're careful where you're getting them. We don't want anyone eating a cicada that's been treated with insecticide. Oh, that's very good, good, good point there. And my final question has to be with, do cicadas have a positive impact on the environment? Oh yes, so they have all kinds of ripple effects, but two big things are first, um, all sorts of things eat them. You can probably expect fatter turkeys this fall come Thanksgiving, thanks to the cicadas. And second, the dead cicadas will actually fertilize the plants and the trees underneath where they were. So plants and animals get a little boost this year. Oh wow, so they're gonna be everywhere. All right, Elizabeth Barnes, entomology educator at Purdue University, thank you for your time on the cicada uh, realm as we get ready for them to head this way. Thank you. And if you'd like more information about them, just head to fox59.com links.